Hey, hey, Ernesto, how are you? Okay. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Ernesto Elias, you guys are ready? Good evening, mister. Good evening, good evening. How are you, Elias? Um, I'm okay. How about you, teacher? I'm doing good. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a good day. It's, you know, it's the last day of the class this week. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vacation tomorrow. Mm -hmm. More or less. More or less. I only. I don't have to. The the good thing is that I don't have vacation. Vacation, but I don't have to work so late. So that's good. I only work. <laughs> only work a few hours in the day. Okay. So you're a a busy. A busy Us teacher. Usually, usually I have. Uh, I'm I'm pretty busy most of the days. Yeah. Mm hmm. Which is good. It's good to be. Um, the bad is when you don't have work, right? <laughs> that's the, yeah. that's yeah, when you. That's, right. that's when you cry. <laughs> yes. Uh, Eric, Karen, how are you? Hey, good, good teacher. Very good, very good. Good, good, good to hear that. How was your day? That's good. Well, my day teacher was. Go ahead, Karen. Go ahead. You were saying? Ah, uh, no. My day was was good, teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay. All right. And Eric, you were saying? Ah, uh, well, if my day was pretty good, also I was doing a lot of things. I went to San Salvador in, to do some errands. Then I go back to Cincinnati, and, and I was stuck in a lot of traffic. But I'm here. So it was, was uh, kind of busy. In Los Chor, well, I went to Ilopango, but I went down to the, I don't know what is the name of the car, the, the highway that it goes north of San Salvador. The, the wind that would happen, the, the one that happened by Casaltepeque and Apopa um, and nearby Apa also. Yeah, I don't so know. in those places, for uh -huh. example, in, in Lourdes, uh -huh. there was a traffic jam also. And when I was getting close to Casaltepec, it was uh, another traffic. And when I was uh, getting to Soya pa to Ilopango, there was a traffic because they were uh, repairing the, the highway. Okay. But I, but I, what I want to do, I do it. That, that's, that's, that's what I say. My day was pretty good because everything was fine. Okay. Okay. 
yeah, a little bit of traffic, but you were able to, to do everything great. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. That's... Okay. And uh, do you normally come to San Salvador? Uh, well, in my case, yes, when I go to work, when I go to the airport. But in this case, I just went to Ilopango in order to get my certificate because uh, annually they ask for a certificate, a medical certificate. So you, you have to go to the Civil Aviation Authority in order to get your certification and your, also your license. But in this case, it was just my certificate. Oh, okay. You didn't have to do any exams or anything then? Yeah, I, I'll do it. Uh, well, I did the exams before. All of this uh, two weeks before, I was doing some exams. Okay. Some uh, I went to the eyes doctor, to the ear doctor. The what is the name of the the doctor that it looks for the disease on the heart also? Okay, A heart doctor. You you can say the same thing. And the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was her doctor, and uh, and everything was fine. And I also took some example for the blood. Everything blood, okay? The blood, uh, yeah, it was it was fine. Okay, all right, good, good. Uh huh. And Sandra, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I just have dinner. Just. Few minutes ago, I and just what? ate tamales. <laughs> hey, hey, there you go. Yeah. Uh, tamales de lote. No. No. Hen. Hen. Hen tamales. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's great. It's great. Everybody's having a good day. Um, Ernesto is at work, so Ernesto will be in the groups, and he's going to be listening, but he probably won't be able to participate because. He, he can't really speak, he, he can listen, but he, he has to be at, at his office. Um, so that way, if you see Ernesto in your group, you, you don't say, hey, Ernesto, what happened? What happened? But it's, he can listen, but he, he can listen, but he just can't talk today. Okay. okay. Yeah, sometimes that's, you know, that's what happens when, especially when this time of the year where many companies ask you to stay late and there's not a lot of jobs, you have to stay late. So. Yes. In the WhatsApp group, you're going to see a little quiz. Um, the quiz is just a little conversation starters, and they're just uh, questions to ask. Like um, here we have uh, today about creativity quiz. I put it into the WhatsApp because, to be honest, it's, it doesn't look very good um, in the video. I'll show you the video just in case. Okay. For example, there you can see that the image isn't, isn't a very good image. And I tried to take a, a close up and, and make the picture a little bit better. So at least we have some, some more questions. But the main topic or the, the objective is, is a creativity quiz of how creative are you, okay? So from that concept is what is creative? What, what do you think for, or what is for you as creativity? Creativity maybe it refers to things that we can imagine and then we can realize them. Okay. Or or have to solve some situations. I can see there too creativity like some ideas that you can convey something special, like art. When you try to be very special, you create something unique something that someone else hasn't done yet and something that that describes you because it's your nature all people will see you like if you are a unique person because you are very creative very creative so you have really good ideas okay Anybody else have an idea? What, what is creativity for you? What does creativity mean to you? Teacher, I think is uh, when I want uh, to invent something that, uh, that one wants to do. 
for example. Okay. All right. Great. So we have all of us have an idea for, for Elias, you wanted to say? Yeah, great. Uh, for me, creativity is the, capa uh, the capacity that a person has uh, to make new things attractive for the public, for example. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, so I see that we all have an idea of creativity and creativity is a little bit different depending on your perspective. Um, some of you, it can be art, music, this is creativity, others is uh, designs, others is creation of a new product or service. This is a different creativity. So this is the idea. The idea is we're going to be looking at how creative are you really? And in order to talk about how creative you are, we, as I mentioned, there are 10 questions that we have. And those 10 questions, we're just going to try to ask and answer with our partners. So as an example, it's in the WhatsApp group and it says, are you a risk taker? And in case you are following it in the platform, this is from 4.4. So if you are in your computer, it's 4.4. If you are in the cell phone, it's in the WhatsApp. And it says, are you a risk taker? So that means, do you, you know, a... Uh, how do you consider yourself? Do you like to take risks? Uh, you try to play, you try to be safe. Um, you try to have the same routines. For example, me, I'm, I'm a moderate risk taker. I'm not an extreme risk taker, okay? So I take some risks, um, probably between, you know, on a scale between one and 10, um, usually a seven, a seven or an eight. Um, so I, I'm not like extreme. And that's what you're gonna do with your partners. You're gonna say a little bit about how you are, why you are, and then you can give examples. For example, I, I, like, I like extreme sports. I like jumping from the waterfalls. I like jumping from cliffs. Um, I have gone a uh, puenting, or, or uh, which is like, um, if you don't know what puenting is, it's like uh, bungee jumping, where you jump from a bridge and then you go down, down under the bridge, um, near the river and so imagine here is the bridge I think I can it makes like this so I am here I jump here I come under the bridge and then I come out over here on the other side of the bridge and the bungee yeah. is when you jump up and down I did that in Soyapango there is a the bridge uh, mm -hmm. jumping sorry Oscar can you repeat uh, what was the name Puentin Puentin they call it Puentin wow Mm -hmm. you, uh, how does it cost? How much does it cost? Um, I think it was like twenty-five dollars. Wow. Maybe twenty, and it and it was either twenty or twenty-five dollars, and then included two jumps. So I jumped two times, or you could go with wow. someone else, but I jumped two times. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Ooh, ha! Like when somebody pulls a hair from your nose, and you feel in your butt, hmm, everything in your body. <laughs> Is yeah. very. <laughs> I check my pants after I finish. I say, "Oh no, I have to change pants." <laughs> you made it again? Um, maybe not. Maybe not again. I I I would try because I like to try new things. So probably I would do um, skydiving or jumping oh. from a plane. That would be I, cool. I, uh huh. Because I already know how pointing is, and it's fun. It's exciting, but. Mm, not something that is enjoyable, not something that is so enjoyable. So maybe I try bungee jumping or something else. You should try uh, rappel. Ah, yes, or... I, I've done rappel many times. Oh. Um, I've done in, uh, nice. what, what is it called? Um, El Escudo, uh, Santo Domingo Guzman? No, uh, Walter Denninger. Ah, wow. Mm -hmm. I've gone to Walter Denger and done rappel there, and I can't remember one more place. Um, There's a place in Huayua where the, the waterfall is beautiful. So it's difficult because you're coming down with all the water, and it's, it's nice. I like that one. Uh, it's good for the Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're going to do. That's what I want you to do. Focus on having a conversation with your partner. Don't only answer yes. No, no, give explanation, ask follow-up questions, make comments. Oh, me too. Oh, I don't, I've never tried, or where has that happened, or things like that, okay? So, one more time, 
if you are in the computer, 4.4. If you are in the cell phone, you already have the questions in the WhatsApp. Uh, just for remember that uh, if Ernesto is in your group, Ernesto cannot speak because he is at work. So he's having some difficulties at work and he won't be able to participate. All right, let me see. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Now I guess just you, you Karen, and me. Uh, extreme sports before too. Uh, well, I heard you were talking with the teacher with Edwin about the, some that kind of sport. I haven't yeah. done n never uh, something well, like that. I guess the which, which one is the most risky you have made or which extreme something? Well, uh, a sport. Well, Climbing? No, no, them. Not exactly. Oh, well, climbing just to the volcano, but it wasn't like uh, uh, risky because you just went walking, walking up the, the volcano, but it wasn't that risk, as you mentioned which, before. Which one? The Isalco and Santana. Yeah, but, but Isalco, there's uh, the last part for me is. Uh... It's not like 100% risky. It's alco. Oh, yeah. The yeah, final part. You, 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 you start you using your hands. Step ahead and, yeah, you, keep, uh, you put a step ahead and go back two steps behind. Yeah, because, yeah, because yeah that's, this, it's, a, it's a little bit you risky. Know, you, know what is, you know what is risky? Because that time that we went to climb to the Santana uh, Isalco volcano, uh -huh. We climb to the volcano, but we get down for the other side. Ah, oh, the, the other side is up, yeah. yeah. We walk we through the, the with the how, how do you how do you say lava? That's so right. We lava. came up. We came lava. Okay. Mm -hmm. We came down from the uh, south part of the volcano, and then we walk through the lava. That what wow. excited me because we were scared because we have heard that. That part of the lava is uh, a section or a place that the military or the army uses in order to shoot their shoot their their weapons. So wow. that that time I remember that we saw an airplane flying around all of the lava, and we, and we thought that maybe they were preparing <laughs> for for shooting the for shooting their, their 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 guns or something like that. That was risky for us. And we, when we went down. To we were talking about that we took, in order to climb the volcano, I guess, two hours, two hours or three hours, I don't remember exactly. But in order to come down just 20, 20 or 25 minutes, it was faster. Cool, nice experience. Yeah, it was nice. Ah, uh, they were, okay, were getting uh, where? Yeah, I gave you uh, bad information. Getting, getting period. period. Uh -huh. Okay. Period. Ah, period. Period. Where? Okay, that's right. In the in the in the in the last one. The last one, I. I don't know the last one. I don't know why. Maybe I have brought uh, in twenty years. Um, I I I began with mm -hmm. a position of uh, auditor, okay. and next I changed uh, to other position. Uh, Encargado, I don't know. In charge of? Encargado of audit, audit. In charge of audit? Ah, okay, in charge. Yes, uh, um, next I continue with 
Other Position, de Next Position. Eh, I don't know what I say. Su, su gerente, por, por ejemplo. As, uh, maybe... Assistant Manager. Assistant yes. Manager. Mm -hmm. Assistant Manager. Y I frequently change my, my position in the areas in the company because I think uh, it's good uh, to have uh, other opportunity and that is, is completed when I take other risk. Okay. I mean, now, are you naturally curious? What? The question? Are you naturally curious? Naturally. Yes. Naturally. Okay. Are you naturally curious? Yes. I am naturally curious. Uh... Depends because I, if I think something is too risky, I don't like to take that kind of risk but especially with risk. the money <laughs> <laughs> yeah have you heard with the money i heard? am always <laughs> that, that is good okay number two it says I'm are you naturally curious. curious i do okay i do so. and the, the most risky thing that i the most uh, risky thing and naturally curious that i that I have done is here in Cincinnati, there is a, well, near to my, near to the place I live is Los Cerritos. So maybe you have heard uh, of Los Cerritos from the, a company started to build a, a, a residential. So they say they were, they were in instructing this, this part of the Los Cerritos, but well, but I want to talk about Los Cerritos is there, there was a cave or it, it is a cave in one of the cerritos and the and the entrance on this cave it was on almost on the middle of the one of the 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 hill the the little hill and oh. it was like let's say a, a big the, the the radius you can it's almost like a meter so you you go through through your belly uh, uh, scratching and moving into the, the cave but when you went into the cave it's kind of big maybe uh, two two meters tall two or, or two and a half meters tall and wide is at least uh, four meters but I just I walk I remember that time um, almost like uh, three or four meters then I I don't want to didn't want to walk more because it scared me. And, and what is that, there, Eric? That, sorry, sorry, Oscar, go ahead, go ahead. No, no I, want, I just wanna know if, if that's close downtown Sonsonate or where is it located? It is kind of close. Maybe if you uh, are familiar with the, la, the new terminal, the new, the new bus terminal of Sonsonate. Uh -huh. So it's located at the south of the terminal at at least one or one kilometer and a half Way to Cahutla. But what is risk? No, no, Cahutla is too far. It's too far. No, I mean, way so in the way in the in the road, outside San Sonata, no, right? It is, it is, it is outside of the the, the highway. Okay. You, you just have to go by a place or uh, called Naulingo, then you can go by. But what is uh, now risky is that there's 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 a lot of guys there. I mean. Um. Mm -hmm. Guns there, yeah. Mm. So that's why you can go, uh, yeah, uh, just like before. But it was curious for me. There are almost five hills in that part, and that's in that part, in that location, and just one of them has what, I, um, as far as I know, just one of them ha have a, a cave right in the middle of the the hill or the little hill. Uh, and what's inside the cave, Eric? Well, nothing. Just we went with uh, <laughs> two, partner, two more partners. Just we can, we can, we went really prepared because 
we didn't get a lamb or something like that, just uh, uh, some matches. And there were a lot of um, uh, bats. Mm -hmm. you say murciélagos? That's right, bats. bats. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of bats. And just we walk in the, into the cave just for maybe two or three, I guess four, four meters. And then none of us wanted to walk more. Mm, everybody got scared. <laughs> yeah, everybody got scared. We we fired a, a cracket, and it was worse because the the small and the bats were scared, so they start flying around, and that scared us more. <laughs> I can imagine. Ah, uh, number in. El número cuatro, ¿verdad? En ese estamos trabajando ahorita, Dalí. En ese estamos trabajando, sí. Number four, uh, section four, but four, eh, four point four, uh, ah. creating quiz. Ajá, uh, ok. Elías, uh -huh. in, this, in this case, in the number uh, four point two. Uh, okay. Let me see. Four, this is uh, so difficult. Uh, Let's see, maybe I have, I have completed, yeah, I have already completed. ¿Y cómo, cómo in, the aquí la one, vaina? in the number one, someone uh -huh. hopping, someone hopping to be, hopping, ah, eh, hopping, hop, hopping, P-I-N-G, sí. hopping, sí. two P's, two P's, hop. two P's, Daniel, what, right, two Two piece. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Hopping. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no one. If you have one, it's going to be wrong. Uh, okay, hopping, hopping, okay. Hopping to be okay. uh -huh. a chef. I uh, sure, uh, should get the, the proper training. Proper training, okay. Yes. I, I try, I try, okay. Try it. I think that was the, uh-huh. I don't know what is my wrong. Someone hopping. Yeah. H-O-P-P-E-N-G. Uh, Try I-N-G, yeah. yeah. I-N-G, I-N-G, right? I-N-G, yeah, yeah, yeah. I-N-G to be a chef. Uh-huh. Show. Oh, okay, okay. Show get the proper training. Uh -huh. Period at the end. Period. Yeah. Yeah. It, it try. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sorry, Daniel. If if not, try with one P, because that that sorry, it's not hopping. This is is hoping. So try with one. One one one. Solo una P. Yeah. See. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ah, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right, teacher. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. There you go, Elias. And, that's and why. Another. We, that's why we have partners. Good job. Je, okay. je, je. <laughs> this is this is so difficult for me, teacher. It's okay for everyone. That's why we work okay. together. That's why it's good. Continue. You work with your partner. Okay. Trying to study that in order to become a better person and to improve my my life because that will help me to get a job soon. And besides that, I would save money and uh -huh, uh -huh. I would. Yes, it, with that money, I would invest in my own business and I will find, uh, I mean, I will buy my my house and my vehicle. I don't know if I want a motorcycle or a car, but I think that those opportunities will help me to improve my life just now. What is the business, Sandra? I want to sell um, handbags and shoes for ladies. Okay, and you want to design them? At this moment, I'm just reselling. Okay. Yes, but I will try to design my own products. But first, I will I want to have my own money to to do it. But I'm really good at doing some things with my own hands, like embroidery mm -hmm. and also drawing. And lastly, I 
I'm trying to learn how to how to sew. I don't know if that's how to. Correct. I'm sorry. How to what? How to sew. Go <laughs> set. How to sew. How to sew. Oh, how to sew. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm I'm trying to learn that on Saturdays, but I'm kind of stuck with a blouse just now. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> when, but I'm designing by myself without copying anyone else design. That's great. That's great. One of my ex students used to design handbags. I don't know if you maybe you have seen and, and she sell them. They're, they're, they're made here in El Salvador and she makes them and you know everything she produces here. But she she's very I, I would think for me creative because she makes not typical handbags, not the not the the leather purses. They're all designs like uh I don't know, uh maybe um a watermelon uh or an owl or and and like all of these different fruits or animals and she makes the, okay. the she makes the designs into handbags well she does it with thread and and plastic or something like that um or... now she does it now she has she designs it and then she goes she outsources to in downtown oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay and and she ha she makes them in leather Oh, that mm. sounds really cool. I yeah, would like to try that. <laughs> and you, she, she doesn't, I, I, I think they're not too expensive for a handbag because I know women's handbags are very expensive, but she still, she sells them for like $30. But like I said, but they're leather. So I, I, yeah. think, it's, I think it's a fair price. Yes, it is. It's really mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. And the luxurious purses are just really expensive just because the name of the purse, the mm -hmm. brand. Yeah. That's why. But if you try to, to get one of the purse in the same price of the, the purse made here in El Salvador, they are going to be in the same price. Just they are not going to be labeled with that luxurious brand. That's, That's the, the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some luxurious brands is is so expensive, um, yeah. but you know, and and it's the same material. Many times you can get the same or better material with with other ones. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. But I have heard and I have watched some videos about some luxurious bags made of made with the brand Dior. They do it one by one. And they are they doing like a handcraft. Mm. Yes, they are not doing with machines and something like that. They are they create unique products. Okay. So, yes. Okay. And they are um, really beautiful to videos to watch about how they produce that that kind of purses. Mm -hmm. It's something I don't hang on. Let me put down the the thing here. Okay. So you see the handbag? Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. It's <laughs> it's like that. Uh-huh. And she they're very creative. Like they have all different types and you know, like like I said, fruits or I don't know. I I, I, I don't know where she gets her ideas. Maybe she just looks at it and she says, Oh, I can do this or I can do that. Or maybe she finds from somebody else because I've seen her make um, uh, owl handbags. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. really curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's just something very nice. I think it's a good business. If you're creative and you yeah. like to do it and, you know, nobody has all of the clients. It's always some risk, but yeah. is, but in the end, you're, on your, you're your own boss and you have your own business. So Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Some other people want to, want to follow that kind of business. They they will invest. Yeah, that's true. Especially if you make with good quality. The good quality, then, you know, even if it doesn't have the name brand, the people pay because they say, hey, but this is a good quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something that lasts a lot. I'll let you guys continue. Good. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well.
What about you, Karen? Mm. And, and guys, guys, uh, pardon ahead. me or excuse me. What do you understand for insights? Insights. What is the meaning? Yeah. Because we, I, we, I can understand guesses and intuition, but uh -huh. I'm not clear about insights. Corazonadas? No. Um, maybe. Thou, but those are hunch. So no, guess, no, teacher, like are you there? Kind of, Tran kind translate of, uh, uh, vision. Like That's right. Or, per okay. or perception, right? That's right, Oscar. It's like, it's like your perception, your... Um, the information that you have in order to make an opinion. That's the insights. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something that is high on your mind. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not but okay. No, but for example, let's say an insight would be, um, for example, if Karen says, I have an insight to how men think. She has a perspective or she has a, a way to understand how men think because she, she had uh, five brothers and uh, her father. So she, she saw how they acted and what they did. This, is, this creates insight. Mm. Okay. It's, it's this knowledge that you have about the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what can you tell us about those subject Karen. I don't always trust in my game. There are people that that win that win a lot of money uh, take a lot of risk too. Mm -hmm. it, it's possible uh, uh, it's possible it's possible que the people lost all of all of the inversion investment investment okay teacher but i have a lot of a lot of a lot of panic okay for example i i some guy that that they go on the top of a tree and they can then i i i don't remember how to say lanzarse and they go to the to a posa like a uh -huh. <laughs> in a river, uh -huh. they they jump. <laughs> yeah, they jump. Yeah, they jump. Okay. Uh, I feel nervous when I when I see that guy doing that that kind of those actions. So I think that I'm not a, a risk taker. <laughs> okay. W one example for the bad. ¿Cómo fue dicho? In invest. Investment. Investment. Uh -huh. One example for the bad investment uh, was the Fincepro in Cepro. Uh, a lot of people in bay investment your money and and high 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 incomes, high tax of interest, high interest taxes, high interest uh, rates. Uh -huh, interest interest rates and loss of the loss of a lot of money in this investment yeah okay it's part of the it's part of your risk taker or not because if you're not a risk taker mm, it's not good you because the more interest the more risk and uh, some, yeah, yeah yes that's right that's right for example in the bank is almost nothing but it's mm -hmm. always your money <laughs> never mm -hmm. it disappears but if you invest Maybe you have more, but you can lose everything. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, teacher, that's right. Mm -hmm. The bank is more in most secured of the other uh, other a uh, little companies. And when when offering a lot of in in uh, interests in interest interest. Uh, for the for the investment, but mm -hmm. the bank is is low in low interest, but it does secure the investment. Yeah, yeah, the good and the bad, right? The good and the bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Any questions? Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting everybody. All right. So, hang on, we're just missing Claudia and Sandra, I think. So, any questions, anything that, that is not clear from the questions, any vocabulary? No, just we couldn't finish. <laughs> we couldn't finish the, the last two questions. No problem, no problem. The idea is to be able to speak. So if you spoke all of the time, that's even that's better than finishing the last two questions. Imagine you finish and then you didn't speak, and then what's the purpose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Good. So in the end, how do you classify yourself? Are you a risk taker or no? What do you what did you analyze? What did you decide? In my case, sometimes. With money. With money, it With doesn't... Money. Mainly. Mainly. I, is money, it doesn't matter. I make more tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, not in my case. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I, I, I thought about the, some situation that had happened before. For example, I have in my mind clearly the, the, the situation... In 1990s, I guess, the and mm -hmm. I and I and I see how there are some other situations that look similar to them. For example, in online, they appear announcement that they say if you give us certain quantity of money, we'll give you this as an interest. So that looks beautiful, but it's true. I don't think so. For example, uh, talking about bitcoins. Ah, uh, yeah. If you invest $150, we'll give you, a, well, they say a quantity. I guess that is not true. Mm -hmm. It's a big risk. It's a big risk. It's possible yeah. because some people have done it, but it's not for everyone. And, and the, yes. the, the problem is that when the investment is up, 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 but you buy here and then it stays and, or it goes down and then you lose. You yeah. have to buy in the beginning when you hear, it's too late because already everyone knows. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So Eric, not so much, only a little bit, a little bit. Oscar, what did you decide? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Uh, if you if we talk back about sports, there are some of them that, like in that pointing, I, I, never. If they never. pay me, <laughs> just if they pay me a million dollar or a, or a thousand dollar, I made it. But other ones, I would like to do it, like uh, jump from a plane, for a for a gliding, something like that. Yeah, okay. uh, or something re relative of water, like kite surfing or wind surfing. Mm, that would be nice in the Salvador. We don't have it, uh, but we can make it. Yeah, the true. thing the thing is that not many people. I I saw it two times in Los Cobanos. And in also, also, I saw another guy once, like four years ago, in mm -hmm. Golfo de Fonseca. Really? Yeah, because that's, the water is like a lake, right? And the winds mm -hmm. go fast. So it, it helps you to, to go quickly, and to go fast. And, and also in Los Cobanos, there's a, there's a, like, it's like a reef break, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a, a lot of area where you, with the wine you can go. Okay. So, I, sometimes I can. That's my answer. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes depends, yeah. right? Yeah. It was called windsurfing, right? I think that's the name. Yes. Yes. Windsurfing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elias, what about you? About risk taker. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't consider myself. Uh, a risk taker. I, I think I am. Uh, how do you say me? Also in English, scared. I don't remember the word. Scared. Yeah, I'm scared. For example, 
to do that kind of, of sport that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm scared to uh, to the water too. When I go to the to the beach, I try not to enter too much. Really? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Maybe maybe that uh, my parents maybe were so so scary too. I don't know. Okay. And they taught me that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Daniel? What What about for you? Okay, teacher. Uh, in my case, I, I consider uh, take a medium risk, maybe. Uh, when is, when is, uh, when I invest in, in, in invertir, invest in, investing, invest, yes, invest uh, in, in some, in some product, uh, I have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cuidado, say, care, a lot of, uh -huh, yes, yes, a, a lot of care, uh, but don't, don't lose my money, my little money. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So with money, no. With with other, in general, no. Yes, uh, I I work in a a, a bank, and when when give some credit, uh, have a, a lot of care to give to give the money to the people. I studied uh, uh, capacity capacity of pay of pay and moral de pago and a lot of things before before to give before to give the money. Okay, okay. okay. Well. No problem because the money is hard, right? You don't want to give it for free because if it's, it's a lot of work to make the money and then only to lose it, hmm? Mm, adios, Daniel. Like this. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Karen, what about you? Uh, I am a cautious person, mm -hmm. teacher. I, I don't like to take risks, risk, especially with my money. I like to, to know the situation until until I invest in something. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, like everyone, right? I mean, for us, I think, especially in El Salvador, it's not so easy to make the money. So to, to take the money and invest it is... We, you know, we prefer to make less, but have the money guaranteed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not like in the U.S. In the U.S., ah, put one hundred dollars in the in, in the invest in the stocks. If I lose, ah, next week I put another hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think, Claudia? For you? Uh, in my case, I think that. I am a risk taker. You are? I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. I like to take other risks always. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to change uh, the same activity continuously mm -hmm. for the better. Uh, because I know that is the way to achieve great goal. goal. And I think also that our children learn from this experience. And in, in my case, I also think uh, I also want to start my own, own business. And not only depend uh, on a job, on a job mm -hmm. because I I I know the time passed 
and not only uh, we have a a job always and and I, I, I think to begin to start my own, own business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Approximately. <laughs> hey, hey, that's great news, Claudia. Hopefully, hopefully. Yes. What, what is what the, the business is going to be? Um, <laughs> it's, a sec it's a secret. For it's a secret. Okay, moment. okay. No yes. problem, Claudia. No problem, Claudia. All right. <laughs> How about you, Sandra? What do you think? Risk taker or not? Um, kinda. Not sometimes, but I think that I'm a 80 20 risk, risk taker mm -hmm. because if it is necessary, I take some risk. If it is not, I try to consider and put in a balance. If the advantage or disadvantages are going to be worthy. So I'm not going to talk about money because I don't work, so I don't have money. <laughs> yeah, but talking about swimming or climbing in a mountain, I can say that I can't swim. So I am afraid to all the time sink on the, on the water. So, but I have put in a balance. If I learn to swim, I'm not going to, to sink, but... Those those situations that situation that made me feel that I'm going to sink is that I'm afraid. And that's the weight that I'm holding in my shoulders. But talking about climbing a mountain is like I feel like I'm I'm going to fly in the the take the risk is that I will jump the mountain and I better than do that. That's what I can say about taking risk or something like that. But okay, all right. <laughs> okay, great. So as we can see, um, that topic is pretty easy. It's just sharing your opinion, answering the question: Are you or are you not a risk taker? And you know, there's no right and wrong. Everybody has different ideas. Everybody is, you know, some things. Uh, for example, I don't mind risks with extreme sports, but with money, hmm, I think about it and I go and I analyze and I, hmm, to, it's not so easy to give the money. Mm -hmm. So some things, yes, some no. Okay. But with other things, eh, it doesn't matter sometimes. It all depends, the situations. We're going to be going on to our next topic, which is exploring possibilities. Now, if you notice, it's kind of like a big jump because we were just doing 4.4, the creativity quiz. But in the next section, which were those questions that I put in the WhatsApp, but in the next part, 4.5, it's just the listening. And you're going to listen to the people talking, and you're going to answer sections one and two about the information from there. Okay, so that's why we skipped 4.5. 4.6 is just the objective, which is to learn and practice expressions related to problem solving. So here's the idea. It's exploring possibilities. Let's learn a little bit of the vocabulary first, and then we'll talk about it. Make, solve, nouns, a mistake, a situation. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now let's learn the following vocabulary. Verbs, analyze find, organize, explore, make, solve, nouns, a mistake, a situation, alternatives, information, a problem, a solution, possibilities. Okay, so first let's make sure the vocabulary is okay. Do we do you understand all of those verbs that are that are there? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Everybody else is okay? Yes. Okay. 
yes. what about the what about those nouns do you understand all of those nouns yes hmm? yeah teacher okay, okay perfect yes. so here is we're going to be we're not going to have enough time to do it today but the idea is we're going to practice tomorrow exploring the possibilities like which words which verbs go with which nouns so for example do you analyze a mistake do you analyze a situation do you analyze alternatives do you analyze information do you so how do you use analyze with which of those different uh, words that are there do you use analyze which one do you think are correct remember is more than one word is possible it's not only one word for one word What do you think? What would what what could you analyze? I guess we could uh, analyze, Location? for example, a situation. Okay, I heard I'll analyze alternatives mm -hmm, and a situation. Okay. Information. Ah, analyze information also. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about for find? What can we find? A problem. Okay, you can a find mistake. you can a find a mistake. You can find a solution. Possibilities. Um, maybe yes, yeah, it's possible. Also, you can find possibilities. Okay, you can also find information. Mm -hmm. Right, we can find. What about organize? What can we use with organize? Alternatives, information. Okay, okay. you can organize the information. You can organize the alternatives. Okay. What about explore? What would you explore? Okay. Yeah, you can explore. Normally, you're. Right. I heard someone said you can normally explore alternatives, or explore uh, possibilities. Right? It's kind of like to think about to analyze these different areas. Okay. As well, what about make? What can we make? Mistake. <laughs> yeah, you make a mistake. That's right. Okay. Solution. Um, not not make a solution, but you can you can give a solution. Alternatives. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about solve? What can we say for solve? A problem. Problem. That's right. You can solve a problem. Okay. So good. We have several of them. Don't worry. We're going to practice them as well tomorrow. Uh, well, oops, not tomorrow. Remember tomorrow, there's no class. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're going to practice them on Monday. We're going to practice them on Monday. So I hope everybody has a nice weekend. And next week is our last week. We'll finish up. So try to advance in the platform to make sure you are ready to complete next week. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you next week. Okay, teachers. Good night. Good night, good night, good night everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Happy weekend. You too. Bye bye.